It is not your average Honda Civic bumper for sure. What's up everybody? We are back with the first video and we are taking this baby apart. I just got the front bumper off. It is not your average Honda Civic bumper for sure. This thing has a lot more bolts than the average. More newer bumpers have more clips and things like that. These things are bolts heavy. Um, so here it is. I just, I just took it off right now. Um, and I kind of want to go over what it took because if I were to film me taking it off and the whole back and forth, it would just be a whole bunch of video and editing and that just, it's kind of hard for me on the whole editing and taking such long clips. So I kind of want to make more juicy clips and get straight to it and kind of show you what it took and what I ran into. So as of right now, I couldn't figure out how to take just a cover off. It seems like it was riveted on through the bottom. Um, and then it has like these little bolt clips up here on the top. Um, but at the same time, now that I see the cover, it has these bolts here. So you kind of have to take the whole structure off. I've, I'm pretty sure looking at this here. Um, so you pretty much got to take all of this off and then off the car. If you want to take the cover off, then I guess that's up to you. So to take the bumper off with the whole bumper support and all that, you have four bolts. These are the main four bolts. This one here looks bent. The main four bolts on this side here too. Boom, boom, boom. And then you have two up here and you have two down here um, those you could reach through the bottom on the inside and the same four on that side and then you have uh, this little bracket plate that takes a bolt one in here the same uh, that bracket plate a bolt up there and then there's a bolt up here that pretty much slides up here and then this one here up here uh, and then you got to take off the, um, the the hood latch pretty easy it's just this little clip here pulls out and you just slide it off so very very nice and easy so that's it I mean it's not oh and then don't forget the wires for the lights you got two plugs up top and then you have a bottom plug for I guess a bottom fog light and that's pretty much it so when you round it off like that it doesn't really seem that hard um, but man I, it ain't it's not hard but patience patience and then i did take off the grills those were just phillips screwdriver so i did take that off first and that did help me be you know be able to get to the wires and uh to this top bolt up here i was able to get it from the front um so that's pretty much it so and this thing probably weighs all together i don't know i'd probably say a good 40 50 pounds so be prepared when you get everything off double check everything because you don't want to take it off and then be holding it trying to unplug a wire so make sure you get all those things off um and what i did was i pretty much loosened everything and i left this top one on and that top one on um and then once i had it pretty much sliding and dancing around then i took those top two bolts and slid it off it came out pretty good i didn't strip anything um this piece here though i gotta check i don't know if this thing is bent though it looks like it's bent so this thing here looks like it's bent so i gotta take a picture and send that and see what's up with that i can't get the fenders off because the hinges are bolted to the fender so heads up on that and then i do got to take this little trim off and i'm not sure i hope i don't have to take the wheel well off i hope not i think these screws here so yeah i should be good um the wheel well probably just loosen up but i shouldn't have to take it all out um so yeah so far so good that's how you take the bumper off stay tuned because next we're going to take the hood off and the fenders peace